Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about precipitation reactions. In a precipitation reaction, two aqueous solutions are being mixed and yield a solid product called the precipitate. As the reaction proceeds, the ions from aqueous solution of reactants form into an insoluble ionic compound which is the reason of formation of precipitation. In this video, you will learn how to predict if precipitation occurs when two different aqueous solutions are being mixed. But before that, we will first know the solubility rules of soluble and insoluble ionic compounds. The table 1 shows the list of solubility rules of soluble ionic compounds. And on table 2, it shows the list of solubility of insoluble ionic compounds. Let us have some problem to try to apply what we have learned. Does a reaction occur when this pair of solution is mixed? If so, write the molecular total ionic and net ion equations and identify the spectator ions. First, we have to write a balance equation. We also know that this is a double replacement reaction. So we have we have to specify their state. Potassium nitrate falls under a soluble ionic compound, hence this is aqueous, and strontium fluoride falls under insoluble ionic compound, thus this is solid. So we have the molecular equation. Now writing the total ionic equation, we will have here, the elements and charges are balanced. On the left, there are 4 positive and 4 negative, which sums up to 0. On the right, there are 2 positive and 2 negative, which sums up to 0 also. Now, writing the net ionic equation, we notice that the potassium and nitrate appear on both sides of the equation. So, they are the spectator ions. So finally, we have our net ionic equation and our spectator ions which are potassium and nitrate. Okay, for another problem. What if we mix ammonium perchlorate and sodium bromide? First, write the balance equation. And this is also a double replacement equation. So we will have... We have to determine their state from the table alkali metals group 1A and perchlorates combinations are soluble, hence this is aqueous, while ammonium and bromide combination also are soluble, thus this is aqueous. Therefore, there is no reaction that will happen if we mix the ammonium perchlorate and sodium bromide. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.